Islamophobia is a very big lie. The mafias, the ruling mafias in the Western world were using against Islam. They know what Islam is. They know Islam is the true religion of God. And they know that Islam, if the, Muslim, the people of Europe, and for that matter, the whole world accept Islam, they know what Islam could do to their life and how Islam could change their life. They know it quite well. So in order to stop that, because they see Islam as a threat to their interests. So during the Cold War between America and uh, the, so the former Soviet Union, the former Soviet Union, the world was bipolar. We have the United States of America as one power, and then the, we have the Soviet Union as another power. So when the Soviet Union crumbled and disintegrated and became a very small country, the Western Bloc, that is uh, United States of America and its allies, conquered the Eastern, that is the Russia, the Soviet Union. They decided that now the threat, the red threat, that is the threat of these people has now gone. So the next threat to our living and our life is Islam. So since then, they started to declare war. They declare a fight, a war against Islam and Muslims. And painting, trying to paint Islam what? Dark. And uh, trying to, you know, you know, tarnish the image of uh, Islam. And they claim that now our threat, our main enemy is what? Islam. But Islam is not an enemy. If they want to know true Islam, they should go back to history. When Muslims were powerful, how did the Muslims use power? The Jews and the Christians did not find a peaceful place to live in those days except through the Muslim lines. When the Jews, Yahud, were being persecuted in Europe and Christians were killing them, saying that they are the people responsible for the death of Jesus Christ, Isa alayhi salam. And the Jews migrated and they ran away. They couldn't find any peaceful place to stay except in the Muslim lands. During the Ottoman Empire, they were the, what, the Jews came to Turkey, your country, and they stayed there peacefully and nobody killed them. Nobody did anything bad. Under Islam, they were very peaceful. They were running their life peacefully and nobody attacked them because they are Jews. Even today, if you go to Turkey, you will find the Jews there. Nobody attacked them. They are people of Jewish origin. Some of them became Muslims and some of them stay in their religion and nobody attacked them, nobody killed them. Whereas in Europe, in Britain, America, and a part of Europe, they were killing them over there, and they had to run away and come and stay among the Muslims. And they never find, find a peaceful place to stay except among the Muslims. If you go to Morocco, and if you read the history of Spain, the Jews in Spain, when they were running, they were running away from all of up the, uh, Europe and coming to stay. Why? Because the Christians were killing them over there, saying that they were evil people, just simply because they were Jews. And they ran away, they stayed among Muslims, and they stayed peacefully. And even some of them occupied a very high positions among the Muslim, in the Muslim lands. So the Islamophobia has no place in Islam. It's not part of Islam. And terrorism is not Islam. Even if you read critically the history of those ter the so-called terrorist groups, terrorist group, you will find that those who make them and um, empower them and gave them were the, the, the, the Europeans themselves. If you can, you can give me, you can give them to me one by one, and I will tell you their origin, how they originated. They didn't originate in Islam. It is their own making. Let's take, for example, Al Qaeda. 
they say Al-Qaeda is a terroristic example of Al-Qaeda. How did Al-Qaeda come to be? The Russians occupied Afghanistan, killing people in Afghanistan. Afghanistan, that is not their land, the Russians. And all people all over the world went there to fight. The Muslims went there to fight in order to prevent them from occupying Afghanistan. And then the leader of Al-Qaeda and other people also went there. During those days, America did not call them terrorists because they were allies. Al-Qaeda were uh, allies with America. And America were even helping them with weapons and everything to fight against the supporters of Russia in Afghanistan. In those days, did they call them terrorists? Did they call them terrorists? They called them freedom fighters and they helped them. They were their allies. They were one people with them. They were one people with them. They didn't call them terrorists. They were even helping them, giving them money and weapons. When did they start to fight them? When they refused the American dictation, when the Americans decided to dictate upon them, do this and do that, and they said no. That was when they began to call them what? Terrorists. So if they are terrorists, then the Americans are also terrorists because they were their allies. They were one people. Al-Qaeda and America were one people. You, you understand me? So you can compare this with all other terrorist groups, the so-called terrorists. You see that they made them and they financed them. They gave them money and everything, and even weapons, to do what they are doing. If you go to, you look at ICIC, eh, the ISIS in uh, Syria and Iraq. Who are helping them? Who are giving them money? Who are helping them to do what? Okay, take for example in Turkey, the PKK. Who are helping them? Where are they now? Where are they? And even just recently, they raise, you know, they do a lot of things in Germany, in other parts, and they give them money and everything, and they call them freedom fighters. They don't call them terrorists. But when they start to fight them, then they start calling them terrorists. You see, all this has nothing to do with Islam. All this has nothing to do with Islam. Muslims are not terrorists, and terrorism is not part of Islam. Muslims did not finance them, no Muslim country no Muslim state financed those people and, tell, and, tell, and told those people, go and do this or that. It is their own making. So Muslims, Islamophobia has no, we don't have to fear. Look, they say Islamophobia, Islamophobia. Now, if you go to their own report, the fastest growing religion in the whole of Europe and America is Islam. People are embracing Islam in their number because when they say all these things, and the people there themselves made their own investigations, and they made their own readings, they go through the books and other things, they realize that what they were saying is a lie. It's not true. So they all what, embrace Islam. Even Muslims in America and Europe, people became Muslims even more after even September 11. After the 11th September, those who became Muslims were even far more than before September 11. Why? Why? because all these people know quite well that Islam is, f is free from all what they are saying. Islam is different and terrorism is quite different. And, not, and even if you are talking about terrorism, they are rather terrorists. Americans killed, how many people did they kill in Iraq? Compare the killing under a, under a lie. They tell a lie. Uh, they say Saddam Hussein has what? weapons of mass distractions. And now it has come clear that they were lying. They themselves, now, through their own investigation, they realized that it was a big lie. Saddam Hussein was not having any weapons of mass destruction or anything. But they concocted this lie in order to attack him, just like that. And look at the number of people they killed there. And the number of people they killed there. And before that, long before that, before even they established the United States of America, the indigenous, the Red Indians, how did they kill them? How did they come to, to stay there? And the number of people they kill, is that not terrorism? Go to Britain, 
the Lord, uh, how do they call it? Uh, they call the Republican, the Irish Republican Army. They were killing under the name of Islam, and uh, not the name of uh, Christianity. And they terrorism, terrorists, they are also terrorists. Why shouldn't they call them Christian terrorists? But when some few people do something, if they are Muslim, they call them Islamic terrorism or Muslim terrorism. Why are they not calling the, uh, uh, those people the, the Irish Republican Army? Why don't they call them Christian terrorism? And we know in Britain, there is a very strong fight between the Catholics and the, uh, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the uh, Protestants fighting each other and even killing each other, attacking each other with what uh, weapons. Why do they, don't they call them Christian terrorists? But when some Muslims do something wrong, they, so terrorism has no religion. Terrorism is terrorism. And Islamophobia has no place. We Muslims, we, are, we didn't come to this world to destroy it, but rather to build it. And we Muslims were, are peaceful people and we will continue to be peaceful. And not to, not, we are not peaceful in order to please them, but we are practicing our faith, our religion, because our religion is the religion of peace. Our religion of peace. And if you don't live peaceful with others, you cannot even deserve the title Muslim. So we Muslims are peaceful people, and we invite the whole world to come together in peace and stay in peace. And we are doing that as a dictate of our religion, and not because in order to please them. Islam, the root is Salam, peace. In Surah Al-Baqarah, the whole thing, the verse that is taken out of context and used against Islam is the one that says, pursue them. That is, if, they are, if you are being tortured, if you are tormented, you get, pursue whoever uh, your oppressor is. Slay them. But if they cease that hostility, stop. Even in war, Islam prescribes how war is fought. <laughs> Islam doesn't allow an armed person to kill women, innocent women, children, and armed people. Even if you are fighting with somebody and the person surrenders, you are not supposed to kill the person. Islam, that is Islam. Those who want to vilify the religion, they, they have their biases. So they are acting based on these biases. But, you do go some searching. Go to those countries, Islamophobia. Go to France. Go to the United States. Go to uh, the United Kingdom. Islam is growing in those countries. The people get curious. Ah, what is this? They, are, they study. They study the religion there. And they say, oh my, this is the religion. But from within, the people will see the beauty of the religion and embrace it. That is a gospel truth. Islam is a religion of peace. That is the uh, natural way in which God created us. All right, I've, I've, I've answered this question a countless number of times when I was in the United States. I never hid my identity as a Muslim. Anywhere we went, I would say, I am a Muslim. <laughs> all right, and I would tell them, Islam is all inclusive. 
the Holy Prophet of Islam had Christian Jewish wives. All right? And even today, many of the Muslim Ummah have got Christian wives. It doesn't mean a thing. Islam teaches us to embrace each other. And honestly, we live a good life so that people can emulate us. But unfortunately, it's just the few, one or two few people who bring their political dimensions into Islam, who give Islam that bad name. So I will say, for example, uh, the war between Iran, Iraq is political. The war between the uh, Muslims, Torika, Shia, Sunni is political. It's not the teaching of Islam. Islam itself wants us to foster unity. İslam'ın insan anlayışı çok özgün. Malumunuz İslam insanı eşrefi mahlukat olarak görüyor, ekmeli mevcudat olarak görüyor. Ve burada da insanın rengine, derisine, kabilesine, bölgesine, statüsüne göre insanlar arasında bir ayrım yapmıyor. Sevgili Peygamberimizin bilhassa veda hutbesinde e, Arap'ın aceme bir üstünlüğü yoktur. Üstünlük ancak takvadadır diye beyan ettiği esas ilke İslam'ın temel ilkesidir, değişmez ilkesidir. Ve sevgili peygamberimiz yine insanları insan anlayışını, İslam'ın insan anlayışını ifade ederken tarak örneğini veriyor. İnsanlar tarağın dişleri gibi birbirine müsavidir, eşittir diyor. Ennasu sevasiyetun ki esnanil muşti İnsanlar bir tarağın dişleri gibi birbirine müsavidir, eşittir. Dolayısıyla burada renginin beyaz olması, sarı olması, kızıl olması yahut esmer olması, kara olması insanı değiştirmiyor. İnsan bizatihi muhterem bir varlıktır. Eşrefi mahlukattır. Öyle olduğu için İslam temas kurduğu her yerde insanların ilgisini çekmiştir insana onurunu iade eden bir inanç sistemidir İslam. Müzik